all black women started a self-love journey, we could heal generations. Black women, did you know you can heal? Did you know you can feel? Did you know you can cry and completely surrender to the tears that are falling out of your eyes? Did you know that the trauma and pain that you've experienced isn't essentially normal? It's just been normalized. Did you know you don't always have to be strong, push through and carry on, but most importantly, did you know that you are not alone? Because I didn't. I didn't know it was okay to not be okay. I didn't know I can cry and be vulnerable and neither of them makes me weak. I didn't know I didn't have to always have it together. I didn't always have to have my life together, know what I was doing. I didn't know I can go to church and therapy at the same time. I worried that if I did this, that the strong black woman trophy would be taken away from me. But does it even belong to me? See, I didn't know that the strong black woman is the healed black woman but I do now. Growing up, I looked up to the women in my family. They were like superheroes to me. They were beautiful, independent, and strong. When I grew up, I wanted to be just like them. I wanted to be a strong black woman. The whole idea of the strong black woman seemed like a character in a folktale to me. She was the unspoken rule the requirement, the expectation. She wasn't personified just into one woman. She seemed all too familiar to me, almost as if she was family. Her mannerisms echoed the pain and trauma of her ancestors, and her self-silencing behavior became almost second nature to me. The ways of a strong black woman was never directly taught to me. It was shown to me through the behavior and actions of my mothers, grandmothers, and family. The strong black woman trope hurts black women more than it helps them. It tells them that they should be strong and resilient, but doesn't allow them to engage in the behaviors needed to preserve their strength and resilience.
Okay, so right now I'm at the mall. Um, I got to pick up um, an order that I ordered off of um, Bath and Body Works. They had a sale on a Friday. It was like $5 for like body care stuff. And I'm starting my Christmas shopping. So I got to pick up that. And yeah, after that, I'm probably going to go and get me something to eat because I am starving. And then I need to clean my car out. But we're just getting ready for a new week. We're doing a reset. So let's go. Tell me how the type of It was about five minutes ago When I seen a hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say, yo, tell the girls I want to meet up On second time, that ain't the way to go I gotta give a game proper Spit it so she get it, then she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for mine or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. I gotta go see ya. Okay, so let me just sit down and talk to y'all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not gonna say that I've been in a funk because I've been doing like good. This part is coming up. I've been doing pretty good. Um, I don't know. It's just like I feel lost right now. Like, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. And it's weird because usually, like, when I feel like this, I'd be like sad, but it's like I'm in good spirits. I just feel lost. Like, I don't know. Maybe the seasonal depression is about to kick in. I don't really know, but I think it's time for me to disconnect so I can reconnect. I'm thinking about deleting social media for a bit because it's just getting boring. Like, 
it's getting boring it's the same stuff over and over like i unfollowed the shade room because it don't be nothing but negative stuff and it just be unnecessary like irritating stuff like i don't want to keep seeing blue face i really don't i don't like i'm tired of seeing them yeah i'm just tired of seeing them so i unfollowed that and it's just like i don't have time or space or energy for negative things like, like if i'm going to be following uh, a page on instagram then i need it to like be something that i actually enjoy like if it's irritating me you know why well, follow the page so i don't follow them um social media is just like i don't find it fun anymore like i get on it i scroll and then i'm ready to get up off of it it's getting boring i'm it's the same old thing i really don't like instagram because it's not chronological order anymore like i haven't liked it ever since then to be honest like i'm tired of seeing the same post sometimes it's just i don't know it's just too aggravating and i think i'm just kind of over it but the only thing is is that if i delete all my social medias like how can i promote my youtube channel like how will people know when to i'm gonna turn my ringer off because they about to go crazy that's the girls in my content creator um group chat um i love them if y'all watching i love y'all so bad so 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 bad they always motivate me and inspire me and stuff like that but um yeah i forgot what i was saying i really forgot what i was saying but i'm just over social media it's boring now i don't really find it fun it's just something to do when there's nothing to do and i feel like if that's the case i can be finding something else to do you know there's always something to do so i could be finding something else i really enjoy reading so and i've been getting back into the groove of that so i think i'm just going to pick up more books versus my phone and you know you can never read too much so yeah and i really enjoy reading like i can read a whole book in a day but yeah it's just time for me to disconnect from the world and it's like i don't plan on going mia on youtube because i enjoy creating content for y'all and like it's i don't feel like it's a job to me like i really enjoy doing it because it's something that i enjoy doing like it's something that i want to do i don't feel forced to do it it's i enjoy it and it's like everything else it can go i just don't know how well my youtube channel would do if i'm not posting on my instagram you know the thumbnails telling people that i got a new video i don't know if youtube would really push my video out and i would get views i want to give it a try but i don't know i'm a little torn between that so but i feel like i should just give it a try you never know or whatever because there's plenty of people that actually don't have instagram or something like that so yeah i definitely think that a break a social media break is it's really coming and to be honest if i take this break i might not come back i really don't know so i don't know so if y'all don't see me on social media that's why i am taking a break um I just I don't know what I'm doing with my life like I keep saying that but it's just like I really don't know and it's like YouTube I love creating content but sometimes I get a little discouraged because it's like my subscribers they be going up like my subscribers go up but I don't be getting views for real like I got 2,000 subscribers and I be getting like 100 views not saying you know I should be getting 2,000 views but it's like can we at least get 300 you know maybe so i'm just trying to figure out like what could i do to increase the views because the subscribers are there they're coming i'm growing for sure but it's just like the videos aren't getting watched you know so that's the only thing that's really discouraging but i know my time will come um i'm not rushing it or anything like that um trusting the process you know everybody moves at their own pace so i'm just trying to trying to take things at my own pace um and i've just been trying to i don't know i've just been trying to stay in better spirits because i know how i get during seasonal depression and i'm just trying to keep myself happy basically like I'm just trying to stay busy, but I don't want to be, be too busy and I overwork myself or I drain myself. So, 
I'm kind of like, you know, torn between that too. I'm torn between a lot of things, basically. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, let y'all in on my brain for a little bit because why not it's a weekly reset just getting my life together because i want to have a good week this week i have a lot of fun exciting things coming up this week i can't really say i can tell y'all um, probably in the next not the next video but the video after that because y'all gonna see but i don't know i just want so much more for myself like i want so much more like i want a new car I want YouTube to be my mainstream of income. Like, I want it all. I want so much for myself, and I know that I can get whatever it is that I want. I just have to put in the work. I have to stay consistent and pray on it and, you know, just be patient. And I know it will come, but, you know, it's always hard when you see, you know, you feel like you're doing the work and you're not seeing, like, no progress or you're not seeing any outcome. So that can be, like, make you feel like you're not good enough or you're not doing enough and it's just like i'm living in one of my prayers right now like something that i used to pray about i'm living in it right now and it's like i'm doing better mentally like last year around this time i was a mess like a whole mess so it's like i'm doing better mentally and i'm always grateful for that because mental health is very important so it's always something to be grateful about so i don't always want to make it seem like I'm just looking at the negatives or I'm always thinking about my future and I'm not living in the now because once you look back, you're going to be like, dang, I don't have no memories from that because I was too busy focused on the future. So I'm trying to learn how to balance living in the now and making sure that I push myself and I set myself up for a great future, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I'm just so young. Um, I'm 22 my birthday is next month my birthday is December 21st so I'll be 23 and I'm just trying to go into 2023 and I'm trying to go into my chapter 23 being more positive more open-minded like looking back on I've grown so much this year like I've grown so much so I'm just trying to better myself i just want to be the best me that i can be and i know i will never completely you know be done be a finished product like you, there's always something that you can improve you know you can always work on yourself but i just know that i have high potential and i'm not there yet i'm not even halfway there but i do see me changing for the better like people around me see me changing and stuff like that so i'm grateful for that i'm really grateful for that but yeah i won't keep talking um if you made it this far thank you for watching um i hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video babes